What up everybody, this is Brett here. Today we're doing another player review, but first don't forget to like and comment and follow and all that jazz. Comment down below a player you'd like me to do. Okay, let's get started with today's player review. We're talking about Royals. Well, we all know how this goes. I give you the stats and then I give you my opinions of him as a player. So let's get started. Okay, Roy Oswald played for 13 years, 10 of them which were with the Houston Astros when they were in the NL League. He was their ace pitcher for the majority of that time. He is a three-time All-Star and ERA champion in an NLCS MVP. He was part of the Houston Astros team when they went to the World Series. And then he went and pitched for Philly for a year, then uh, he kind of went to Texas and then I believe he went somewhere else I'm not 100% sure on that but let's talk about a little bit more about his stats he has 163 wins only 105 losses a 3.36 ERA a war percentage of 50% and he has an ERA title to his name and is also a three-time all-star if I have not mentioned that already so let's talk about him I personally I don't I remember him with the Phillies I don't personally remember him with Houston because I'm a Red Sox fan, and I tended to watch American League play. But from all intents and purposes, he was their ace. He was their guy. And I think he's a, a little bit – I think he's a better version of A.J. Burnett, in my personal opinion. Um, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer either in the MLB view. He, he's a late-round Hall of Famer for me. Um, so, yeah, like I think that's where he stands. I think he's a late-round Hall of Famer if he does get in. Like, comment, subscribe down below, my, your thoughts and all that. Okay, bye.